in station A1, we will perform a single replacement reaction with zinc metal in a copper 2 sulfate solution. This reaction will take some time, so we'll come back to it later. After 15 minutes at station A1, the zinc has replaced the copper in solution, so the solution has become less blue, and the zinc has obtained a darker coating. And if you look very carefully, you may see the familiar shiny orange color of copper. For station A2, we'll take a piece of calcium metal and apply some distilled water in a single replacement reaction. In station B1, we will react a small piece of magnesium metal in a combination reaction with oxygen gas. In station B2, we'll react a small amount of calcium oxide with water. We'll then test the product with pH paper. The dark blue purple color of the pH paper indicates that the product is a base. In station C1, we'll perform the decomposition of a hydrate, copper 2 sulfate, pentahydrate.
Note the change in color of the copper two sulfate now that it has undergone decomposition. And also note the condensation of water at the top of the test tube. After allowing the copper two sulfate product to cool for several minutes, notice what happens to its white color as we add water back to the copper two sulfate. In station C2, we will perform the decomposition of basic copper 2 carbonate, which is also a hydrate like copper 2 sulfate. Note the color of the product and also the water condensation at the top of the test tube. In station D1, we will perform a double replacement reaction between potassium iodide solution and lead to nitrate solution. In station D2, we'll perform a double replacement reaction between sodium chloride and silver nitrate. In station E, we'll examine the effects of available oxygen on combustion of a candle. Eventually the flame runs out of oxygen and so it can no longer undergo the combustion reaction. And so the paraffin stops burning. If we light 
a wooden splint on fire. And carefully place it under the beaker. You can see that the splint flame goes out much more quickly than the candle flame due to lack of available oxygen.